Hi, I'm Greg Gorbach with ARC, and today I'm speaking with Subhash Sakorikar and Anand Pranad from uh, TCS. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. So, Subhash, you've been involved in manufacturing roles of various kinds for 26 years, I understand. Uh, and now you're covering the uh, automotive and, uh, and industrial space mostly. Can you tell me what's happening in the way of transformation in this area? Right. So, uh, I think the off late in the rec uh, recent uh, three to five years have been more focused on the digital transformation, uh, enabled primarily by the connected uh, uh, vehicles, connected products, connected enterprise, uh, connected consumer. So this entire theme of connectedness uh, is catching up in both automotive and industrial as well. And uh, all the digital forces that we defined over the years are at uh, confluence to make it happen. So whether it is the uh, connected autonomous shared mobility, electric vehicles, uh, connected equipment uh, for mining, agriculture equipment, so all this is uh, really taking a big transformation space nowadays. Okay. Hmm. okay, that's very interesting. And then Anand, you focus on uh, aero and process manufacturing, that's which right. is an interesting combination in itself. Um, so what's unique in that segment? Well, as you know, Greg, they are two very different industry segments. And you said that is interesting. And that is because of the diversified nature of the portfolio. So aerospace is in a unique position since it is one of the few industries which has almost a 10-year backlog for commercial airplanes, right? Both Boeing and Airbus are challenged to meet the production rate and at the lowest co uh, cost and the highest quality. That's what they are working towards. Safety always is the highest priority in aerospace and as a security. And then, of course, the aftermarket space is the next go-to business for aerospace. That's what's happening in aerospace. The process area, which is a very, very diversified industry in itself with uh, specialty chemicals, commodity chemicals, advanced materials, is struggling with high input prices and uh, variable demand. So they are trying to extract value through mergers and acquisitions. And of course, safety plays an important role there as well. Uh, so a lot of digital transformation scope in both industries in aerospace and process currently. Okay. And so um, how do you see this changing over the next oh, four or five years and, and what do you see emerging in industry? So what is common to both aerospace and process here and I think it is common to almost all manufacturing and for that matter all other industries itself is the pace of change which is accelerating and all Industries, all companies need to really change fast to catch up and make the best use of that change on technology. What we are seeing is, and TCS, as you know, works across multiple industry verticals, banking, financial services, insurance, uh, high tech. What we are seeing is that the business to consumer B2C market is taking a much more aggressive approach in setting the pace. They are actually able to leverage technologies like cloud analytics and automation to create offerings which add value to the customer, differentiated uh, value at the individual transaction level. They are also able to leverage, let's say, agile concepts to, re to rehearse and iterate changes, and they are able to embrace risk with much more confidence. Consequently, what is happening is that they are able to take advantage of large opportunities in the market much better and add exponential value to their share shareholders. That is something that we believe manufacturing has to do and do very quickly. Okay, thanks. And uh, Subhash, along similar lines, do you see the same thing happening in the aero and, um, and industrial space? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the similar themes, but uh, since the segments are uh, slightly different, uh, the customer segments are different, the product segments are different, so uh, on similar lines. But I, I do see uh, a lot of work in uh, four primary categories. The digital in products, uh, that is the products becoming smarter. Uh, digital in operations, which is the IT, uh, OT, IIoT, I think all themes that we spoke about at the forum today. Uh, then the digital in the enterprise and also the extended enterprise. So I would put it like 
digital workplace, uh, the blockchain that connects across the enterprise and takes the advantage of digital connectedness on that. And then the digital in the IT services, where we are focusing on the machine first delivery model and how many decisions can be made by the uh, artificial intelligence and uh, AI and ML technologies uh, in that sense. So uh, these are the transformation themes that are happening in the auto and uh, industrial segments in particular. Okay, just to follow up, um, what kind of examples or would you like to highlight in this area? Right, so uh, TCS is uh, doing a lot of work in enabling uh, all the four themes uh, of the digitalization in products, enterprise, and IT services as well. I would put the, the examples which are prominently coming, which are transforming the industry as the focus on the end customer. Uh, traditionally, the manufacturing, particularly auto and industrial both, uh, have been the business to business uh, enterprise. The end customer was uh, not as much in the play in the transaction. So we have seen the emergence of newer themes like marketplace, e-commerce, uh, digital connectedness with the customers. Uh, the investments are today more on, uh, on those side uh, compared to the traditional, let's say the shop floor automation, which used to be the theme around 10 years back, let's say. <clears throat> So Anand, I'm hearing a lot uh, at this conference and, and elsewhere about digital platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see about digital platforms in your sectors? Well, if you look at it, uh, let me split into two. Uh, and uh, we spoke about it previously in the uh, panel discussion as well. Data is everywhere. And if you look at the biggest data platforms now, whether it is Amazon or Google or Apple as an ecosystem, they are making tremendous amount of money uh, and adding value in turn to their customers by leveraging data. Aerospace is such a data intense industry. There's data everywhere. There's engineering and manufacturing data with the OEMs. There's supply chain data with the tier suppliers. There is airline or aircraft operation data with the airlines. However, it is very siloed. It is not available for analysis and insights in one place. So there is a very real demand to create a data platform that would bring data from all the uh, components of the value chain and help to analyze that data. I believe that would create tremendous value uh, in aerospace for the aerospace ecosystem. For process manufacturing, Safety, industrial safety has risen to the top of the CEO's agenda now. And uh, we believe that while there are various systems available which handle different functions, there isn't an integrated platform that would address industrial safety. And we see that there is a, there is a need in the market for that kind of a system. Okay. Subhash, you address your services to uh, specific functions throughout the, uh, the, the ecosystem and supply chain. Um, <clears throat> do you see um, sort of a, a cross-functional digital transformation opportunity? Yeah, so I think the uh, digital is uh, uh, enabling the cross-function. In fact, this entire theme of connectedness and digital is uh, breaking the barriers of uh, departments, the uh, ensuring the traceability across the organization. So let's say we, we spoke about uh, the digital thread, the traceability of uh, various products, transactions, uh, solutions is tremendous. And I think digital is playing uh, quite a big role in enabling the cross-functional, not only collaboration, but also the value creation uh, through, the, uh, through the process. There. Okay. So then uh, final question, what role do you uh and your company TCS play in this uh, sort of evolving digital transformation opportunity? So uh, we play quite a few roles depending on the context, but primarily it uh, is the advisory services to our clients to help realize, first to draw the digital digitalization roadmap and help implement that. So it includes the digital strategy, uh, the right technology selection, uh, drawing the roadmap, and then handholding the clients throughout the implementation of various programs and be engaged with them until the benefit realization is uh, accrued. So our engagements are in some cases end to end, which is right from a strategy to implementation. In many cases it is implementation as well, uh, while if the clients have decided their own strategy uh, in that sense. 
So just to add to that, Greg, uh, TCS has been working with major customers for the last 5, 10, 20 years. We have very deep relationships. Uh, over the years, our associates have got tremendous amount of contextual knowledge on the business landscape of our customers, on the application landscape, on the data landscape as well. And if you look at any digital transformation, it is primarily driven these days by technology and data. So TCS in that sense is very well positioned. We are the natural partners for digital transformation. Also, TCS always has been very strong in the technology area. We are investing tremendously in building up our uh, skill base on the new technology areas. And that in turn plays again to what Subhash said in TCS being the right advisor for our customers in the digital transformation space. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. I've, I've greatly enjoyed this conversation. This is Greg Gorbach from ARC. I've been speaking with Subhash and Anand from TCS. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Greg. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.